Alright, hello guys. Today we're going to be going over my April forecast for 2019. Now, before I get started with this video, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like videos like this one. I do make a lot of content like this. I make weekly forecasts, monthly forecasts, seasonal forecasts, and I also forecast for things like severe weather events, snowstorms, and hurricanes. I've been doing this for over a year now, I think, or just under a year. So, I, I have been doing this a long time, and I can I hope to continue to do this for a long time. So, during the winter months and summer months, I will be making definitely more videos for you guys so if you do consider subscribing that would be awesome now we're going to start off with my temperature forecast you can see in the pacific northwest we have a little bit of a above average anomalies there uh, and this is where we're going to have warmer than normal conditions from northern california into oregon and washington northern idaho and western montana as well we do have an area of below average temperatures though from north dakota down through south dakota portions of wyoming nebraska kansas oklahoma texas new mexico arizona utah colorado and Wyoming as well. Now we do have an area of above average temperatures on the east coast. This ex we're going to start with the slight amounts here from Texas up through Louisiana, Arkansas, Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee, North Carolina, Virginia, Kentucky, Ohio, West Virginia, Maryland, D.C., Delaware, Southern Pennsylvania, and New Jersey. We have an area of medium orange here, and this is where we expect a little bit warmer conditions than the other two kind of slightly warmer areas. Uh, and this extends from some portions of Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, Southern New or North Carolina, and as well as Florida, we're all going to have warmer conditions in these areas, and it should be quite noticeable when you're in this medium shade of orange. We're going to move on to precipitation forecast now, and we see a slightly below average precipitation area from Northern California into Oregon, Washington, Northern Idaho, and portions of um, Montana as well. You can see we do have an area of slightly above average precipitation as well from Texas up through Oklahoma, portions of Colorado, Kansas, Nebraska, South Dakota, Minnesota, Iowa, Missouri, Arkansas, Tennessee, Northern Alabama, Mississippi, Georgia, South Carolina, and as well as North Carolina. These areas will have slightly above average precipitation. It should be quite spotty in the spring months so you can get a big thunderstorm and that'll put you above average or you could just miss out on some thunderstorms and that puts you below average. So it's going to be quite spotty but overall should be above average in most of these areas. And then we have an area of uh, kind of a medium green here and this is where I expect some of the more above average precipitation is we're going to have low pressure systems tracking just perfectly for us to get a lot of precipitation in this area. Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, Southern South Carolina, and as well as Florida, we're all expecting a noticeable amount of above average rain in these areas. Now we're going to move on to my overall forecast, and this is a really pretty map here. I love making these, and I love making these the thumbnails because they, they really catch the eye, and I really just love the way they look. I'm going to move from west to east here. If you're in a gray area, you're kind of just average or not nothing too noticeable uh, in any direction. Now, we have below average precipitation there for the Pacific Northwest, and you're going to notice it's quite dry comparative to normal in those areas, so that should be quite noticeable. In our blue section here, uh, from the D Dakotas down through Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, the four corner states, and as well as Wyoming, we have below average temperatures expected for these areas, and that should be quite noticeable as well. Uh, just north of us, kind of northeast of us, we have a kind of mustard green color uh, and this is where we're going to be seeing an inconsistent pattern from North Dakota in through Minnesota, Iowa, Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, Wisconsin, Michigan, Ohio, Kentucky, and Tennessee as well. We're all going to be kind of flip-flopping all over the place, and it could go really either way, but it should be quite inconsistent and changing quite a bit uh, throughout the month of April here. In our red section here from northern portions of Texas in through Oklahoma, Kansas, Missouri, Arkansas, and northern Louisiana, portions of Missouri, or Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, and Tennessee as well. This is where we're expecting the heart of severe weather, a little bit further east than it has been. Uh, but March, we did see this this area really get the, the heart of the severe weather. And I expect that to continue in through April. We already see some events uh, from Oklahoma eastward. And usually it's kind of Oklahoma, Texas, Kansas, Nebraska, Colorado getting involved. But it's a little bit further east. It's, it's Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, and then east of you, Missouri, Arkansas, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, and Tennessee getting involved. And that's what's kind of abnormal. Also, Louisiana could get in on some of that action as well. Just to our south, we have a green section from Louisiana and southern Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, and Florida. That's where I'm expecting it to be stormy 
and warm. It's going to be rainier than average and also warmer than average. So that's quite obvious that it would be stormy and warm in these in these sections. We have a warm section from North Carolina, Virginia, West Virginia, Southern Pennsylvania, Southern New Jersey, Delaware, Maryland, and D.C. This is where I expect warmer than average conditions. Uh, not too extreme, but it should be a little bit warmer than average, and you might even notice it. Uh, to our north there in, in, in interior New England, we're expecting some snow, particularly in the first half of the month, obviously, as we're going to be warming up uh, our averages as we head into the later portions of the month. But we could see some snow in this blue section from upstate New York into Vermont, into New Hampshire, and into interior Maine. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And again, I hope you consider subscribing as I like to bring content out like this uh, for you guys and reach the most people as possible. So I'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button, and I promise you, you will not regret it. Anyway, guys, have a great day, and I hope to see you in the next video.